our journey with Production Futures started just after COVID. We lost so much talent, so many great people that left our industry after COVID. And we as a business needed to really start to think about how we get people back into the industry, young people back into the industry that could be the next generation of technician, the next generation of project manager. And Production Futures, we saw as a, a, a way to be able to do that. So we really wanted to engage with them and support them so we could have an outlet to start to speak to these young people, start to speak to students and, and encourage them to come into the business, come into the industry. There's nothing better than you know working a really tough day, getting to the end of it when the event is up and running and you have this kind of pride where you stand back and you go, I did that. We've been on this journey with Production Futures since the very beginning where it's, it's our way of paying it forward to the industry. Also, we align perfectly with, with Hannah's vision. It's, it's it's all about building a more inclusive and diverse industry and bringing uh, real opportunities out there. And I like their mission when it comes to this is not just about like giving advice. It's about really opening the door and keeping it open. It's just such a great event to do because you just get such an energy from it. I think seeing people like uh, who are at that stage that we've all been at where they're excited about the production industry and wanting to know more. And you know, being on the other end of that and being able to tell them and, and it just it brings back to you actually all the things that you got into this industry for. So I always find like apart on a purely selfish level, it gives me like a bolt of energy, which I have to admit some days you need. This thing does give it to you. I do love these events. Jay, why why did you want to come down to production futures today? What are the advantages for Stage Engage? I think uh, it's very important that when you get a young apprentice. They need to understand how the industry works and I think this is one of a lovely platform that has been created where actually students from the event industry who are studying come here, understand and are more confident. They explore, they get to make choices and what we have to do is just make sure guide them and we believe it's very important that you guide them at the start of their career then they're being lost later on and that's one of the reasons why we thought it's very important to be part of Production Futures where we could guide young talent, tell them what career to choose, how to go about it, just do not guide them in a wrong direction and then they spoil their career, that's what we are looking at. We have been partners with Production Futures for a long time at Negat Lights, obviously we've been around for 40 years now, but yeah, really enjoyed it and uh, we want to continue our um, partnership with Production Futures, we find an invaluable um, way to recruit new, younger generation into our business. This space today has just been filled with people at the start of their careers, and we just want to show them what support is available. And we are working with some brilliant organisations, and we are working with them to reframe their inclusion policies. And being able to tell young people today about that has been a really great way to feel like we're doing our bit for the next generation of musicians and people working in the industry. I didn't come from a lighting background so I come in from an administrative standpoint um, but then just was really interested in the software and have kind of learned and taken on further responsibilities since then so there's opportunities for development for sure. This is amazing I mean the minute I walked in here I thought wow it's so exciting to be here with all the different industries around our industry. You know, we're all creative people. We all love working in the media and to come in here with the lighting and the vision, it all looks brilliant. And we've had so much interest as well. It's been such a good day. When you talk about apprenticeships and things like that and that 16 to 21 age bracket, that is obviously the, the demographic of people that are here predominantly, but also this is the future of the BBC, right? Absolutely, the future of the BBC. So what we've got, we've got a scenario. We want to get people in early, so that's why we're going for 16. The apprenticeships start at 18. So what we want to do is actually make sure, put it on people's radar, because we know that all of the, the apprentices that have actually been part of us have been really successful. And you're right, it's the future of the BBC. I've been coming to a few of these now and they are a fantastic opportunity for us. I started my career and I didn't have the, the kind of platform that the guys and girls do here. For me it's really important that we encourage that young talent into the industry because as we're looking for the next generation of stars, their ideas, their impact on the industry and what, what we will do uh, and that for us is a, is a real key. I want to see the talent go through and, and give people like myself the opportunity that I didn't have.